Okay. All right, here we go. I want to read it. All right, come on, let's, let's get up here and we'll read it. I want to start right here. Uh, we're going to start at the beginning. All right, that's very good. Daddy, I told you we're not, we're not, we're, we're not supposed to go. All right. We're not just supposed to get right here. We're only supposed to start right here. And don't go right here. Not all the way to the end? Okay. No. All right. Can I start here? Um, no, we start on the other page. Right there? Yeah. All right, here we go. You ready? All right. Here we go. Flap your wings. Flap your wings. By P.D. Eastman. A little egg. An egg lay in the bath. Okay. A boy came down the bath. He saw the egg. He looked around. He saw flamingos and frogs and turtles and alligators. Whose egg is this, he called. But nobody answered. Then the boy looked up. He saw an empty nest in a tree. Here's an, e an egg without a nest, he said. And there is a nest without an egg. The boy climbed the tree, he put the egg in the nest, and he went away. Mr. and Mrs. Bird came home. They were surprised to find an egg in their nest. That's not our egg, said Mrs. Bird. Look how big it is. But it is an egg, and it's in our nest, said Mr. Bird. If an egg is in your nest, you sit on it and keep it warm. It doesn't matter whose egg it is. All right, said Mrs. Bird. But I wonder what who's kind of Mrs. bird. Mrs. Boy? Right there. That's Mrs. Bird right there. And who's that boy? That's Mr. Bird. Yeah. And who's this boy? That's Mrs. Bird. And who's that? Yeah, that's Mr. Bird. All right. But I wonder what kind of egg will come out of the bird will come out of that egg. They took turns keeping the egg warm. First, Mrs. Bird sat on it. Then, Mr. Bird sat on it. And sometimes it was, it was so big, they both sat on it. One day, Mrs. Bird heard a squeaky noise. Help! She said the egg is squeaking. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Now there comes an alligator. Oh, that alligator. Birds come out of the little eggs like that, Charlie. Mr. Bird came back to the nest. He listened to the egg. This egg is not squeaking, he said. It's our baby that is squeaking. He is ready to come out of the egg. Mr. and Mrs. Bird waited. The egg started to crack. Squeak, 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 squeak. Then it cracked some more. Squeak, scratch, scrattle. And there was the baby. Uh oh, that's a funny looking bird. Mr. Bird was very excited. It's Junior, he shouted. What a beautiful baby. Junior opened his mouth. It was a big mouth. It was full of teeth. That's the funniest looking baby I ever saw, said Mrs. Bird. Who was Mrs. Boy? Right there. What's going to happen to him if he opens his mouth and bites your head off? Yeah, that's a big head. mouth. The little baby's got a big mouth. It's a and funny... what if he bites your head off? Whoa, that wouldn't be good. And what would he, what would he look like? What would he, he look at? He'd say, hey, uh, baby, baby bird, that wasn't very nice to your mommy. This is the funniest Mom, looking... And what if he, and what if he, and what if the head was cut open and he... Well, that would be silly. That's the funniest looking baby I ever saw, said Mrs. Bird. Something is wrong. I don't think that he's our baby at all. He's got a funny looking bird. He's in our nest, so he must be ours, said Mr. Bird. His mouth is open. That means he's hungry. When your baby is hungry, you feed him. You feed him. Mr. and Mrs. Bird went away to get food for Junior. Mr. Bird brought back a pink worm. Mrs. Bird brought a green one. Junior ate both worms in one gulp. Then he opened his mouth wide again. We have to get Junior lots more to eat, said Mr. and Mrs. Bird. Hour after hour, day after day, they brought food for Junior. Mrs. Bird got berries and cherries. She got butterflies and caterpillars. She got dragonflies and, mis dragonflies and mosquitoes. She got ladybugs what, and tiger what beetles. Mosquitoes? Those are those bugs right there. Uh, are these mosquitoes? Uh, those are uh, dragonflies. Yeah. Mr. Bird got crickets and spiders. He got grasshoppers and snails. He got red ants, he got black ants. He got centipedes, too. What kind of bird eats so much? said Mrs. Bird. It doesn't matter, said Mr. Bird. He's still hungry and we have to feed him. Weeks went by. I think it's 
I don't think so. Yeah. Hey, this one. Yeah, we did that one with the grasshoppers and snails and red ants and black ants. Doesn't matter, said Mr. Birdie. Still hungry and we have to feed him. Weeks went by. Junior never stopped eating. And he never stopped growing. He grew bigger and bigger and bigger. He's one funny looking bird. Finally, Junior got so big that Mr. That Mr. Bird said, It's too crowded up here. Junior has to leave the nest. It's time for him to fly away. Now he just sinks into the water. Well, no, he's a bird. He'll fly away. Yeah. No, he's giving all he does. Charlie, he's not. He's a bird. He flies. He just flaps his wings and he flies. Yeah. Now he goes, boom. Charlie, that's so. He goes, boom, boom, boom. You are right, Mrs. Bird. The time has come. We must show him how to fly. Bow, bow, bow. Mrs. Bird pushed and pushed. Mr. Bird showed Junior how to fly. Jump into the air like this, he said, then flap your wings. Junior got ready. He took a big breath and jumped. See, there you go. He's flying. Up, up, up in the air he went. Flap your wings, yelled Mrs. Mrs. Bird. Flap your wings, yelled Mr. Bird. Yeah, yeah, I was right. You were right. I told him he's flying. Junior flapped and flapped, but it didn't do any good. He didn't have any wings. I was mistaken. And down, down, down went Junior. Down into the water, splash. This seemed that much of a bird, huh? Huh? It was cool and wet in the water. It was just right for Junior. You know, said Mrs. Bird, I don't think Junior was a bird at all. It doesn't matter, Mr. Bird said. He's happy now. And just look at him swim. Up, oh, he's waving to mommy and daddy. Mommy and daddy bird. Look at that. All right. Hey, I told you not to go to that uh, train. I was mistaken. I'm sorry. Tell you what, say our prayers real quick and then you want to. We'll say our prayers real quick and then if you want to read all you read some more by yourself. Okay? Is that fair? All right, so say our prayers real quick. This right? is a good book and I want to read it. Are right, you going to go straight to bed or you want to say your prayers real quick? Um, all right, we'll do that and then I'll let you read some more, okay? All right, let's do. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. No silliness. That's one. Okay, that's two. Hands together. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. The angels watch me through the night until I wake with morning light. Amen. And God bless Charlie, Jack, Mommy, Daddy, Papa, Grandpa, Molly Jingles, Uncle Charlie, Nana, Papa, and Evan, Cassie, Uncle John, Aunt Amy, Cousin Julie, Cousin Liam, and... Cousin Melvin. Oh. Uh, cousin? What? Abby? Yeah, Cousin Abby. Thank you. All right. You want to sing a little song before we go to bed? Or you just want to read? I want to sing baseball. Take me out to the ball. Wait. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the park. Oh, buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if we ever get back for it's fruit, fruit, fruit for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, uh, no one, two, three. For it's one, two, a three strikes you're out Say of the Say one, two, two, five, one hundred. For it's one, two. Five one hundred strikes you're out at the old ball game. Or you give Daddy a big hug and a kiss. Oh, mwah, I love you. Ah. Ah. All righty, you sleep well, okay? No. Yeah, you gotta get to bed, okay? Then you want to stay up and read for a few minutes? All right. I love you, little man. You're a wonderful, wonderful boy. Ah. <laughs>
I love you, bye. Did you hear me spit? Yeah. Can you say I love you, bye?